It's a 2005 Camelot by Monaco, 38 PDQ. And I'm just gonna show some of the, it's got a little bit of age on it. There's a couple scratches here on the front of the door. And the 3M guard, chip guard is crazed. That's kind of typical as it ages out. And then it has double fueling on each side. You got your fuel bay and you can fuel from each side and with, along with your propane. And you also have an auxiliary hose. And you can see there's a couple chips right here. And then we also have the cargo basement area. And it has a slide out. It's got pretty full right now, so I'm not going to slide it out, but it's got a slide out tray. There's a Traeger barbecue that goes with it. <clears throat> you can see the awnings by Carefree, Colorado. There's another storage area right here for additional stuff. We put our chairs and things of that nature and our exhaust stack in there. And yeah, walk around the side, we got docking lights. Those are locked. Um, new tires, Alco wheels. And then the engine compartment in the back, of course, being a pusher. It is an ISL Cummins 400. And then this is where the power re, uh, power um, reel is for the 50 amp power cord. And a side draft radiator. And then the utility bay. The utility bay has um, your sanitation, paper towels, soap, and you got an outdoor shower. That's where all your uh, connections are for your TV and your tank monitor as well. You can see that. And then we have also another bay here, and this is where your water filters are located, which are uh, interchangeable. You can disposable and cores. And then this is the other side of the utility basement area where it slides out. It's a double slide. And again, this is the other side of the fuel system where you can fuel up, dual point. see the tanks underneath there. Okay, we'll go around the inside. And there are a couple steps on the coach. It is a 2005. We have this uh, trim right here at the top of the, uh, where the transition from carpet to tile, which I tried to find a piece for it and I had a little bit of a tough time. Um, as you can see, I don't have any lights on, <laughs> but um, going back to the bedroom area and kitchen area, we have a microwave that's convection and microwave combination, lots of storage. There is a scuff on the uh, Hide a bed right down here close to the bottom of the floor. You can see it's cut right there. A little scuff. Has all brand new carpet. Top floor is in great shape. Um, has a four door refrigerator. Right here. Oh, there's a couple beers in there even. Wow. Um, got your water closet. And yeah, what's nice, I like the split bathrooms because it's nice and private. Water closet, and you got your, your lav. And then you got your medicine chest. Above the water closet, it's also more storage for toiletries. <clears throat> got your shower. And a skylight above the shower, which is kind of nice too. And a handheld uh, shower, handheld shower unit. And you got a uh, linen closet for storage for towels what have you of course there's drawers down below as well for more storage yet for more goodies and then we got the 
Master TV. And um, flat screen right here. And then we have the residential uh, mirror doors. More storage above the uh, queen size bed. And this, this is a four slide slide out unit, so it gives a lot of, lot of space when the, the slide outs are deployed. And um, those pictures are on the, uh, on the internet. Does have a two burner propane stove. One of the burners here. There's one of the burners there. And um, you have soffit lighting underneath, which is really nice. You can on dimmers. So all the throughout the coach has those. Some of the lights I switched out. There's a switch right there next to the dimmer. And that's these are I went to LEDs. I like daylight, so I went to the daylight. Um, also, brand new uh, shades this year all the way around. Room darkening, day night shades, which is really nice. You, know, you can filter the light in. And then they stow nice for when you're traveling. Um, very comfortable little coach. And then you got the driver's compartment. Smart wheel, which is really handy. And then you got the passenger side with the stairwell floor that deploys and comes out mixed for a flat floorboard.